Griffin with us now is Leon Panetta, the former U.S. Defense Secretary, former CIA Director. Uh, that was under President Obama, the Chief of Staff under Bill Clinton. Uh, Secretary, it's always good to have you. Over the weekend, sir, I had a number of former and present high-ranking defense officials from uh, both parties who were telling me the timing of this is awkward. And keep in mind, this was Saturday morning before all of this transpired and we shot the thing down, that it was too little too late. Do you think it was too little too late? Well, I, you know, I, I think there are lessons to be learned from this. Uh, uh, first of all, it, it was clear. Uh, I don't know at what point they made the decision, but it was clear that uh, this balloon was carrying uh, sensitive equipment that uh, could collect intelligence. Uh, and secondly, that it was maneuverable, which meant that uh, they could basically maneuver that balloon over targets. Uh, so it was a spy balloon at that point. Uh, and I think uh, when it was determined that it was a spy balloon, uh, I don't know the timing here, but I think it was at that point that uh, we should have sent a clear message to China to uh, be able to uh, take control of that uh, balloon and get it away from the United States, uh, or else we were going to shoot it down. Uh, I think that was the point to basically threaten the Chinese that uh, we were not going to accept a spy balloon coming over the United States. But we were suspicious very early on, right, Secretary? So why didn't we act sooner? Should we have acted sooner? Well, I, I think there's no question that the, the lesson learned here is to make clear to the, to the Chinese that that will never happen again, that uh, if they uh, send a balloon uh, that has those same capabilities towards the United States, uh, that uh, it will be shot down before it enters our space. You know, Secretary, the Chinese are, went from contrite to after we, you know, shot this thing out of the air to very confrontational, and they're planning um, something, or they, they have promised retribution, or is that just talking tough? What do you think they are planning? Well, you know, the, the one thing... Neil, about all of this is that we kind of know the what about what this balloon was all about, but we're not quite sure of the why. Uh, why would the Chinese uh, send a, a big balloon like that, knowing full well that we were, we were going to be able to detect it and uh, see it uh, and uh, ultimately act against it? Why would they do that? And the only reason I can think of is that they don't like the fact that we do reconnaissance flights along their country where we gather intelligence. We're in international airspace, uh, but they've indicated that they do not like our gathering that intelligence. And I think in many ways this was a signal or a message uh, from China that uh, they're going to try to do the same thing with the United States that we do in gathering intelligence on China. Uh, I think that was the message. So the message was as well, in, inherent in what you're saying is, we're not hiding this from you. We wanted you to see what we could do. Yeah, I, th I think that, uh, that that was the case. I mean, look, we know that, that intelligence uh, gathering takes place with satellites. We know it takes place with drones. We know it takes place, place with people on the ground. There are different ways to gather intelligence. Uh, and we do flights, we do air flights that gather intelligence. Uh, but using a big balloon uh, that is obvious uh, and then providing what I assume is sensitive uh, technology on top of that balloon, uh, I think they were basically sending a message that uh, they can do reconnaissance as well as the United States. Although I have to tell you, it was a strange way to say that. Yeah, it was. I, I, but, you know, I, I am just wondering, if we get unequivocal proof in these investigations and what gets to Quantico is researching, it was indeed a spy balloon. And to your point that uh, they just wanted to do this in response to what we've done, um, there, 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 there's a series of allegations out there from the White House that they've done this exact same thing before, said it was done during the Trump administration, said it was done in prior administrations. Um, you know, you, you go back to Barack Obama and before that, you know, to Bill Clinton. Do you ever remember anything like this? <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that uh, 
You know, if we were aware that uh, China was sending a balloon that was gathering intelligence and was maneuverable and could go over our military sites uh, and hover, hover uh, over those sites and gather very sensitive intelligence, uh, that that would have been unacceptable. Uh, and, it, and it should be unacceptable. That's, you know, the United States, uh, we have our sovereignty, we have our airspace, and we don't allow spying within that airspace, period. Let me ask you a little bit about something you'd said. We're not adequately protecting our secrets. And by extension, I didn't remember that was occur occurring here and the fact that this thing was shooting away, um, taking you know, pictures or whatever, gathering data over states like Montana. We'll talk to that state's governor, none too pleased about that. Uh, in conjunction with all these classified documents that have now you know, gone out and, and, and no one can seem to find them. Um, we have a problem there, don't we? Well, I, I, I certainly have been concerned about uh, the way classified documents uh, have been treated. I mean, you know, as, as director of the CIA, uh, I was responsible for deploying agents into harm's way, put their lives on the line in order to gather intelligence on our adversaries. And it's because of that that we classify that information in order to protect their lives, protect the sources of intelligence, uh, and protect uh, the intelligence itself. So uh, I'm concerned that uh, you know, when, when classified documents are not handled properly, that it could very well jeopardize our national security. So I, I think we've got, to, we've got to get increasingly aware and protective of our ability to gather intelligence and then to protect it. Secretary, finally, um, we will have probably some more details on this, you know, when they become available. The administration shares that. But the, the White House has said that a lot of the information the Chinese might have wanted were scrambled. They didn't get much of anything. Do you believe that? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know uh, exactly uh, what they were able to get, and, and hopefully that'll be determined when they look at uh, the sensitive equipment uh, at, uh, at Quantico. Uh, uh, you, can't, you can't make that determination right now. If, if they've got a balloon that's, ho that's hovering uh, over a military air base or a missile air base and gathering intelligence or gathering signals. I, I don't know exactly what they might have been able to acquire, but you have to assume that if it was an intelligence gathering mission, that they were gathering important information that should not be allowed, uh, an adversary. Uh, that's, that's why we protect our country. That's why we protect our airspace. That's why we protect our military sites is because this relates to our national security. And if we want to protect our national security, we have to make damn sure that our adversaries don't get access to that kind of information. Leon Panetta, former U.S. Defense Secretary, former CIA Director, former White House Chief of Staff at all. Thank you very, very much. Very good seeing you again. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.